in true mom fashion, I have to record videos in my closet because I have a husband and a baby. Anyway, hi guys and welcome back. Today, I want to do a video on the top few things that all new moms or seasoned moms have said at any point during the first, I'm going to say, six months of your baby's life. I wanted to do this particular video because as a new mom, I was experiencing, experiencing some new feelings and some new emotions and I'm like oh my goodness I cannot be the only one and I think there's this stigma mental health issues or that moms need to have it all together and just kind of in general it's not okay to really discuss any feelings other than I'm fine I'm perfect I'm living this everyday life so I want to do my part to break that kind of mold and to discuss some challenges and some feelings that I've been having around being a new mom. The top feeling um, that I felt, and actually this was before I had my baby, was am I going to be a good mom? Like, am I going to remember to feed my child? I literally had that feeling. I had that thought. Like, am I going to remember to feed this person? Like, I can barely remember to feed myself. And I don't always eat three meals a day. Am I going to remember to feed a whole nother human? As it turns out, babies don't let you <laughs> forget about them. They cry a lot. Uh, so if you are wondering, am I going to remember to feed my child? Don't worry, they'll let you know when they're hungry. <laughs> going back to the whole good mom piece... Like, how do I know how often to change a diaper? And is it okay to do baby let weaning? Is it okay to co-sleep? Is it okay to bed share? Should I wake my child up to feed him? Like, all these questions ran through my mind. And the more blogs I read, the more comforted, yet the more anxious I became. But once your little bundle of joy gets here, all that seems to kind of fall into place. So probably my most favorite in this list that I compiled would be my baby just pee in the bed on these sheets. Would it be trifling to get a towel and just kind of cover up that pee spot and go back to bed? I'll change the sheets in the morning. You're not going to change the sheets in the morning. And no, it's not trifling to put the towel down and go back to sleep. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. Just put down the towel and get to the sheets when you can. Call it nasty. Call it trifling. Call it what you want. But these are real deal, holy field, mom challenges, mom thoughts. And if you do it, you're not alone. At least one other person has done it. Maybe even twice. The next thought um, that I had was when I first found out I was pregnant, I was super Super, super duper excited it's something that I have been wanting and I've been praying for and we were super duper blessed but I would be lying if I said that for like 12 hours not gonna lie maybe 24 I was like oh my goodness all the things that I'm losing all the things that I have to give up I can't drink alcohol for nine months oh my goodness I'm gonna need a babysitter anytime I want to go somewhere Oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to sleep for the next six months to a year. And I think it's valid to talk about that. Because yes, babies are wonderful and they're miracles. And, you know, parenthood is unmatched. But I think it's also important to talk about the things that you are going to miss from your single life. Or from your married life. Or just from the life that you had before the baby. Your life is going to change. But... After those 12 hours, 24 hours, and if it lasts longer than that, that's fine too. But after a while, you really begin to think, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm losing so much or it feels like I'm losing so much. But one, what you're losing is trivial. And two, you're gaining so much more. Like when I look at my son, I can't even, I can't believe that I used to have those thoughts. They're very real, very valid, but it's like, wow. Everything that I gave up, everything that I lost, I got back tenfold. 
and the love that I have for my son and watching him grow. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. To somewhat segue into the next point. Uh, so I can't have a drink for the whole nine months. Can I have just like a little sip of whiskey? Okay, no, I can't. Okay, okay. I didn't drink through my pregnancy. I did not have any champagne. I had no alcohol. Um, so that means Halloween, my birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I was pregnant for all of the holidays. Not that I needed an occasion beforehand, but all the holidays and the events where I would normally drink and probably drink in excess, but still responsibly, I uh, I was pregnant. So um, that's another thought that I had was, are you sure I can't drink? Not even a little bit. <laughs> that's probably the biggest thing. <laughs> Another point that I want to bring up is the amount of anxiety and paranoia that I felt once I had my son. I was not anxious about being pregnant. I wasn't anxious about the delivery. I wasn't anxious about the recovery. I wasn't anxious, but as soon as I had my son, Everything was frightening to me. I saw dangers all around. The way people drove, um, different foods that I would come into contact with, germs. I didn't want to get vaccinated while I was pregnant. Everything was all about the protection of my son and to make sure that he was safe and I was around to make sure that he was safe. I was not diagnosed with anything but I did feel extremely anxious and paranoid. So maybe I didn't have anxiety, um, diagnosed anxiety or diagnosed paranoia, but I did have those feelings. Um, I kind of had a Murphy's Law mentality. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. And we can't prevent the negative things from happening in our lives, all we can do be positive surround ourselves with positivity and try to wash out and keep up with that negativity another thought that i had when i first brought my son home from the hospital was can i give him back it was a life-changing moment when he was first laid on my chest i loved smelling him and i was so thankful that this little baby boy came out of me and I grew him with my body with the help of my husband and just oh my gosh all these feelings yay but it was like day three I, I breastfed I breastfeed currently who that's a whole different topic and conversation <laughs> but I breastfeed I'm the only one that can feed this baby he's up every 45 minutes to an hour two hours if I'm lucky like oh my goodness like I need my life back so I think that's important to discuss because there are moms out there who are probably like oh my goodness I'm in over my head what have I done it gets better I promise it's probably the most cliche saying I was so tired of people telling me oh you'll sleep one day it gets better soon it does believe me it does or if you're not feeling that it does get better, you learn how to adjust. And if you don't adjust, and if you're having difficulties adjusting, that's okay as well. That's very, very real. But I do ask that you seek help. So I will link some resources in this video, but it's super important to seek help if you're feeling that things aren't getting better and that they won't get better. But if you have that feeling of what have I done, I hope that it gets better and um, more than likely it will. And last but certainly not least, a thought that every mom has had is, oh my goodness, I love this baby or these babies so, so, so much. It's all worth it. The sleepless nights, the stretch marks the engorgement or making bottles at two o'clock in the morning everything about motherhood is so worth it it's a feeling that i can't describe i can't explain 
it can only be experienced. It's the most fabulous, fabulous experience ever. When I first had my son, everyone was calling and congratulating me and my husband. And they were asking me how I felt. And I said, it finally feels like I'm walking in my purpose. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you can relate to at least one thing mentioned in this video, like, subscribe, and share. And if there's anything else that comes to mind, another thought that you had, feel free to share it in the comments. And I will hopefully be able to reply to you. So, um... Yeah, that's it.